if you asked me a month ago if you ever thought I would do abstract painting, I would definitely tell you no way. I had very little respect for it. I would go into art galleries all the time and see this stuff and just be just, just kind of blown away that people would pay money for it. And I would just be like, what, what is happening? Like, I don't even understand, you know, why anybody would even look into this as art. Uh, my aunt was a big influence on me. She made a living being an artist, so once I took to that, she kind of took me under her wing and was like, well, if you can if you can color this in, why can't you draw this on your own? And why can't you, you know, think outside the box and do things a little bit different, you know, on your own? Instead of drawing superheroes that are laid out in a coloring book, why don't you make your own superheroes? Or why don't you draw your own characters? I met this professor at Rowan who, you know, really got inside my head as far as, like, letting your mind go and... He explains it as that's like how to figure out like through life. Life is just experiences and you reacting to certain situations. There's not a whole lot of planning sometimes like that goes into different things you're doing. And if you can think about all that stuff while you're doing the abstract painting and kind of get lost in it, and then it starts to kind of take its own thing. You know, if you go into it and you're like, oh, I want it to look like this, and you start making lines and moving towards something, then you're not doing abstract painting anymore. You're doing, you know, you're making uh, an illustration or something. So it was something I always did, so I, I never looked at myself as an artist. It was just what I did. It was just I drew all the time. I constantly was taking pictures. I was constantly painting. It wasn't like I wanted to be an artist. It's just who I was. So I didn't realize that that was what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, and I explored other avenues in college. But uh, once I got into, like, the job market, I realized it wasn't what I wanted to do. And that's what kind of led me back into uh, into being an artist and being being like who I was supposed to be and and finding what it is that made me happy in life, not just doing, not just following the steps that everybody does. Like you go to high school, you get a job, you you know, have a family, you move on. You know, I wanted to do something that actually you know made sense and was worthwhile for myself. So that's what led me back to doing doing this stuff.